Configuring Annotative Text for Dimensioning Adding dimensions, leaders, and texts helps us to further communicate design intentions. There are several ways to do this. We will use annotative text in this section to accomplish this task. The idea behind the annotative text concept is to prevent us from needing to recreate text every time we want to change drawing scales. Annotative text should be able to rescale itself depending upon the drawing scale you set. For example, it is very common to work at multiple scales such as the overall master plan scale set at 1 inch equals 200 feet and detail view where 1 inch equals 10 feet. Regardless of these, the text should stay the same size. By default, Civil 3D doesn't do this so we need to configure it to hop in this way. So in this example I'm going to show you how to add dimensions like we see here for this retaining wall. We can see that running dimensions such as these can help the contractor who's going to be responsible for building your design figure out exactly how wide along here we want our retaining wall to be and other types of information. So thus far in our details example, if I go to layout 1, we can see that we've set our line weights in our title block template. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to add some leaders in here and some dimensions and maybe some other text information. I'm not going to go through and show how to do each one as the concept is very very similar. Instead I'm going to do the one that's a little bit more complicated and harder to figure out. So I'm going to show you how to do dimensions instead.